Sean Sewell with Ingimmer.com. This is a comparison of my favorite four pants. Three of them from Kuyu, one from Cool. They're all in the category of uh, hiking pants, technical pants, soft shell pants, however you want to look at it. And so I'm going to go through the features and the functions and how I used them and what I like about each one of these. Uh, and they're all similar price points, around $120 to $140. So they're they're an investment, but each one of these I have separate reviews on, and I have glowing reviews because I'm big fans of all four of these. We have the Kuyu Attack Pants, which I'm currently wearing. The Kuyu Tiburon, which I like so much, I have two pairs. The Kuyu Sierra Base Camp, which are actually maybe my new favorites. I wear them all the time. And then from Cool, the Clash, which is another one of my favorites. It's okay to have more than one favorite um, for different reasons. So. To recap, this is the attack pant. It is probably the most athletic or trim fit of all four of these pants. For reference, I'm six foot one, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 32 inch inseam, and this is a 34 regular. Fits really good. The attack pant, 18 and a half ounces, so it's the thickest of all these pants. We do get ventilation on the side, much like the Tiburon. So if you're running hot, you just do that. I would think, and I would recommend these and the Cool Clash for the coldest temperatures. Now you can run base layers underneath. I, I love new yarn. Um, those are my favorite kind of base layers. Maybe a 150 to 200 weight underneath this and you're good down to some way below zero Fahrenheit temperatures. Same with the Cool Clash. Um, the other two pair of pants are more mid weather to hot weather. So I will show you between the Tiburon. The Tiburon, as I look through it, the sun's over there, I can actually see holes through the Tiburon. You probably can't see that. But what this is, these are both Torre fabrics, and Torre makes some of the best materials in the world. Patagonia uses a lot of Torre, and they make some really good stuff too, as you can tell by our glowing reviews of some Patagonia gear. This material right here is a four-way stretch. This is a two-way stretch. However, both pair of pants don't get my way of doing any kind of athletic motions, lunging, deep squats, hinging. How I use these pants day to day, I'm a fence professional, I run a gym here in Denver, Colorado, I'm constantly demonstrating exercises and I wear each one of these pants without hesitation. They don't get my way with mobility and demonstrating motion. So the Tiburon, again, I have detailed reviews on this one too, uh, is a lot like the Attack, only it's a little bit more relaxed fit in the legs, which I actually like better. I have, I don't say athletic legs, but they have some girth to them. So the, the attack don't get in my way, but the Tiburon just give me a little bit extra free feeling. They also feature that side zip for extra ventilation, just like the attack. Boom, same length, same feature. It's actually very nice. And this one is a Torre, I forget, micro dot material. And like I mentioned, the dots allow air to come out. So I've used these in summer, even though I run really, really hot. I love winter camping. I love playing in the snow, recreating and split boarding. That is my thing. So I don't wear pants um, in the summer as often, but when I do, these are the only pants basically that I would wear. Two-way stretch feels more like, like a more stretchy than you would think. They've been really durable. I've washed them dozens of times and they're holding up really well. Both are the same price, 140 for the Tiburon, and then 140 for the attack. The attack are much heavier by a few ounces, 18 ounces, and the Kuyu um, Tiburon pack up smaller. They're lighter, I think around 12 ounces, maybe 13 ounces. Both are fantastic. Now onto my new, most comfortable pair of pants, like these, <laughs> I love these. Picked these up uh, about, about two months ago now. These are the Kuyu Sierra Base Camp pant. And, uh, they're, I'm smiling because they're super comfortable. They're like basically like sweatpants. It's this material that just uh, it stretches. It's super comfortable. It's really soft against the skin. It looks less technical. I've even been gotten away on some date nights wearing these and the, a sweater and some some neat, nice boots. And all three of the pants feature mesh backed pockets for ventilation. They all feature the cargo pocket on the side which I really like the location, the cargo pockets, like I mentioned in the reviews, they sit really well, they don't hit your knee. And I believe this one have it, no. This one has an internal zip right there. And I believe the Tiburon does too. 
the base camp does not. Yep, Tiburon has another additional pocket there to keep things separated. The Sierra is in the middle, like more like a 14, 15 ounce. Super comfortable, great stretch. Again, uses training, like literally training myself as well as training other people. I wear all three of these pants. And then people have asked a lot about cool pants. If you go through our uh, reviews, you'll see I've reviewed, I think pretty much every cool pant out there and a lot of cool tops as well. And I'm a big fan of the company too. And this is not to direct you to buy a cool or a Kuyu. You can make up your own mind on that. This is probably the most comparable to the attack that I've seen. This is the Clash, about same price point, a soft shell material, a little baggier fit though. So if you're looking, if you're a hiker or bow hunter and you don't want that additional material, um, you might want to opt for the attack. But for what I use them for, everyday use, as well as training, and then also some, some like crampon use, mixed use in snow. They have reinforced cuffs here and they have little wider cuffs. You can accommodate going over um, a, a boot. Definitely not a ski boot or a snowboard boot. And I would not recommend these for split boarding or backcountry skiing. For that, we have all kinds of reviews for outdoor research and Patagonia and Fjall Raven and most of the companies you can think of that make clothing for skiing and split boarding we have covered. But for use in the winter or other cooler months, depending on how you run, the Clash are fantastic. Um, I think the aesthetic looks even better than the Attack. Again, like a little bit more of a full fit. Um, these are actually, these are 33. So Cool runs every size, like 31, 32, 33, 34, whereas most brands like Kuyu run evens, 32, 34. They fit really good. Um, I just absolutely love these pants, wear them all the time. They are as close as material as I can find to the attack. Um, but again, the differences are, these are just a slightly bit heavier. You have extra material, which probably wouldn't be a benefit if you're trying to count every little gram on your, you know, backpacking and bow hunting and such. Um, but they do have the benefit of being more useful for mixed use in winter and other climates. A little grommet right there to attach to your boot laces. Um, so yeah. These are my four favorite pants. And I recommend any of these four in a heartbeat. In fact, I have, and everybody who's picked them up has been pretty damn stoked on them too. So hopefully seeing these four pants gives you an idea of how they fit, what features I personally like about them. Some features probably popped up to you that you would appreciate. If you have other questions I might miss in this comparison, please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you quickly. And, um, as always, I appreciate your support. Thanks for checking us out. Until next time, take care.